Hello everybody, my name is Brandon Hopkins. I am a Linode developer advocate. And in this video, what we're gonna be doing is setting up and demonstrating some of the features behind Saltcorn. What this is, is a no code platform that you could use to build database web applications and they have a intuitive point and click, drag and drop user interface to build the whole application upon, depending on whatever you really would like to do. There really is a lot you could do with this. If we go ahead and scroll down here, we can see some of the table interfaces here. We can see some more information on what specifically is Saltcorn. And here are some example applications that are pretty easy to set up and they do have a lot of specific guides and tutorials for various things such as forms, blogs, dashboards, project management tools, do to-do lists, and a lot more. And the cool thing is it is now featured in Linode's one-click marketplace. So it's actually really easy to go to get this set up. And better yet, we can see here it is free and open source using the MIT license. If we scroll back down here, we can see one of the options to run this is to be self-hosted. And it's actually a pretty new addition that this is included in Linode's one-click marketplace of applications to easily spin up on your very own Linode. If you would like to try this out right now, follow along with the video. You can go ahead and use the link down in the description to get a $100 60 day credit for new accounts. So with that, let's go ahead and get this set up. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and set this up. And before we do, I just wanted to show you, this is what the dashboard is gonna look like. I've been playing around with this, testing it out. Over here, you can see my admin dashboard and the little menu here. I created one page. A page is probably the easiest and simplest thing that you can make on here. And this page that I threw together real quick is just a step-by-step -step process of setting this up with the one-click installer. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is actually set this up. Now, first things first, we're gonna do this with a domain name. You're gonna want people to be able to connect to this. You can see up here, this is salt.hopkey.net. And fortunately with Linode's APIs for all the domains, they make it really easy to go ahead and get this going. So if you just go over here to the side and go to domains, you can actually connect domains that you purchased elsewhere and actually manage the DNS and all that through here. Uh, what you're gonna want to do, we'll link to some more resources down below but basically depending on where you purchased your domain, whether that be Namecheap, Google, whatever it may be, you just connect the proper Linode name servers over there, set up and create a new domain name here. And it's really as easy as that. We're gonna be using hopkey.net here. And one thing we're gonna to want to do before we go ahead and set this up is generate a API token. What this is gonna do is let the one-click installer that we're gonna be using to set this up automatically do all the domain name stuff for us, it's awesome. So in here, you just create a new personal token. Once you already have that domain name set up and good to go on the node, this is only temporary, so I'm just gonna call this Saltcorn. And then I'm gonna make sure and give this personal access token both a read and write privileges. So I'm gonna create the token and here is my token. So what I'm gonna do is click right here to give that a copy. And now that I have that copied, I am ready to go ahead and create my Linode. So I'm just gonna go to create Linode and I'm gonna go over to the marketplace. And here we can scroll down. You can see all the other things that you can easily set up here as well. But for this video, we're gonna be focusing on this guy right here, Saltcorn. So give that a click and we could go ahead and scroll down here. We are gonna to want to give it an email address so it can actually set up Let's Encrypt so we have an SSL certificate. So for this, I'm just gonna use my business email. We could go down, create a limited pseudo user, which is always a good thing to do. And it's cool that this helps you uh, do this automatically and give it a password, make it a little stronger there. You can use an SSH key if you'd like to, I'm not going to for now. And right here we have the option for our Linode API token. Just gonna go ahead and paste in that token we just copied. Here for subdomain, I'm just gonna call it corn because my very first uh, test instance over here I used salt. Uh, so for the domain, I'm gonna do hopkey.net, which is just for testing purposes. Images, we have the option for Debian 11 and Ubuntu. I'm gonna go ahead and go with Ubuntu. I'm a little bit more familiar with that. Region, for this generally just go ahead and pick a server that's close to you or close to your target audience. And for this, we can set this up on just a Nanode $5 a month plan. And if you do have this deployed or plan on deploying it for business, anything like that, you can obviously upgrade later to meet your actual demands. So for the label, I'm just gonna change this. You could change it to whatever you want, doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna call this salt corn setup. And then finally, let's go ahead and give us a super strong, complicated and secure root password. And 
really that's it. We just hit create Linode. And since we use that API, it's gonna go ahead and do a lot of the heavy lifting for us and automatically set up the domain names. And like always, if you want to see the progress of specifically what your server is doing, we could go ahead and open up the Lish console just by clicking that right there. And then here we can observe what it's going to do. Now this is actually gonna be doing quite a bit of different things. So it's gonna take it around five minutes or so. So go get some coffee, do whatever you need to do, come back and it should be done. All right, it's been just a little bit and we can see here in our Lish console that the installation is complete. So there really shouldn't be anything that we need to do in the console or CLI. So I could just go ahead and close this out and it should be ready to go. So now we should be able to open up a new tab here and go to that domain we created, corn.hopkey.net. And here we are, we're gonna be able to create our very first user. This is going to be our administration account. So I'm just gonna use my main email, change this password here, and then I'm gonna create the user. There's also an option to restore backups here as well if you'd like to do that. So let's create the user, I can save that. And now we are in our admin dashboard. Now in this demonstration, we're only gonna be able to cover the absolute basics. There is a ton of different things that you can do with this. You can create a ton of different web-based applications. I mean, over here we have our tables, so you can just create raw tables. We have our views to define how table rows are displayed to specific user groups. We have our pages. If we go down here to settings, we have a about application. So here we could change a lot of our site identity and settings. So this is hopkey.net. Time zone is uh, unfortunately Los Angeles. And I could go ahead and change whatever else I would like to, give that a quick save. And there we go, our site has been updated. Now, one thing I'm gonna demonstrate real quick is the pages. If we go over to pages, all we need to do here is create a new page. This is one of the most basic functions of this. Uh, this is a short name for our URL. I'm just gonna call this uh, intro. Welcome to hopkey.net or whatever your application may be. Give it a quick description. And for now, I'm gonna keep the minimum role as admin, but you can see some of the default roles are admin, staff, user, and public. Give that a save and then it's going to open up their drag and drop interface to go ahead and create some of this. So you can see we have text, columns, codes, a lot of the basic web element things that you'd expect. So I could go ahead and drag some columns in here, add some text. So I'm going to drop that in there. Hello world. Let's give that a quick change. I'm just going to pull some filler content off of my website, which is also hosted on Linode, which is set up using the ghost one click installer. That's another video you could go ahead and check out if you'd like to. So let's paste that in there just for some filler text here. We could go ahead and add an image so you can see how it kind of highlights where these elements are going to be placed. So I could drop that in there under image select. I could change the source to upload. Let's go ahead and browse and let's say pictures. And let's go ahead and use this uh, Linode logo here. So let's open that up and there we go. And then of course we got to add some alt text. We have some block information here. We can uh, clone these specific elements. The, you, it's really just a basic web builder built into this, which is really nice. Other things we have, we could throw in some tabbed content if we'd like to. So tab one, tab two. If I wanted to throw in a card, I could, and then I could go ahead and add something to the card such as a link. And then over here, we could go ahead and manipulate the link. So like click here for your $100 60 day credit. And then you'd link this to wherever you would like it to link to. Just a lot of basic things like that. Over here under layers, we have all the different things that's going on and how the actual page is formatted and stacked up. When we're done editing, we just go ahead and click save and then we could go done. And now right here under name intro, if I go ahead and open up that page, this is what it's going to look like. Obviously, I didn't spend too much time on it. I could have uh, made this look a lot better, but we're just showing some of the basic functionality here. Now, if I go back over to pages, I could actually set this as a, a publicly accessible page. So I would just change this to public. And then over here under root pages, the root page is a page that is served when a user visits the root location. So for example, public, I would want people to see this. And like we could have built a just a stock default landing page that redirects to like social media links or anything like that, just in case if somebody landed on our project. So if I saved that, I'm gonna give this link a quick copy. I go to a new private window, so I'm not logged in and I paste that in there, hit enter. It's gonna display that page. The image didn't show up though. I probably need to fix the permissions on that as well, but you all get the point.
Now, another thing we really need to take a look at here is the plugins. Now, these plugins are kind of like pre-made little applications or templates that you can use to go ahead and change various things on your project in this instance. So we have things like blog, this will automatically generate or create a blog with possible entries, content, comments, things like that. We have carousel sliders, address books, file transfer services. So there's a lot of different things that you can build into this. You can really change and manipulate this to work exactly how you would like it to. We have a little store, statistics, Stripe, just a whole bunch of different things. One that's pretty cool and it will let you change the theming of it. If we go up here and let's go ahead and I think it's under themes. And if we go to any bootstrap theme, all we need to do to add these plugins is go ahead and click install. It doesn't really take it too long. Everything on here is relatively small. You could see with that enabled, it automatically changed my theme. So now instead of that blue sidebar here, we have the tables, views, pages, and settings up here, and we can select our theme. So there's a lot of different themes to choose from. So if I switch to journal, hit save, you could see how that changes the theme of our instance. I could go back under the any bootstrap theme, click this little gear icon to go to our settings. And maybe we wanted this one, good news from hacker themes. Go ahead and save that out. And then this is what that theme looks like. Really nice. So overall, we've really only scraped the surface of a lot of the different things that we can do with this platform. Over here on our homepage dashboard, I know this looks a lot different because of the theme, but I do recommend you go through all those themes and find one that works best for you. Here under Confused, we can go to Wiki. They have separate YouTube videos that are specific for, uh, I believe there's blogs, to-do lists, things like that. But if we do decide to go over to the Wiki here, there is a whole bunch of various content with how to do a lot of the things, including installation deploy on the node, which is again, a new option with the easy one-click installer. Uh, for example, if we go over here to data models, you can read up on how they work there, uh, creating tables and all the different fields and everything that you could do with that. Just overall, it's some pretty cool stuff, easy to get set up and play around in, and it's very low resource intensive. We just jump back over to our Linode. We can launch our Lish console here, log in using that limited pseudo user we created, run a quick HTOP, and we can see that right now with uh, everything running, this is using about 200 megabytes on our system, and that's including running Ubuntu. So this is a very lightweight application. So with that, anything that we referenced in this video will be linked down below, including the guides, the, the credits, so you go ahead and try this out. Whatever you need will be down below. Uh, if you enjoy this content and you want more cloud computing content like this, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and ring that bell so you do not miss any future uploads. Uh, with all that, I do hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.